Hey people, Ed Bud here. And today I've got a rundown of my recent poll of the viewers' best running shoes of 2020. Hey people, so after crunching all of the poll results together, analyzing the data, we have the final results of the viewers' favorite running shoes of 2020. So what I asked you guys to do out there was post in the community section of the YouTube channel as to the shoe that you've reached for most over the course of the last year, which has been that real favorite of yours that you keep coming back to time and time again. When I looked at the results, we had over 50 different running shoes mentioned, and there were 13 different manufacturers in total. You had the typical names in there, Nike, Adidas, Asics, and of course, New Balance too, along with names that perhaps we don't see quite so often, like Puma and Skechers. Not to give too much away at this early stage, but Reebok did appear in the top five in terms of the top manufacturers featured within the poll. What I did was counted up all of the various different shoes and then allotted those to manufacturers and Reebok just scraped in there in position number five. So here are the viewers, top five favorite running shoes of 2020. Number five is the Nike React Infinity Run Flyknit. Good to see this one appear in the top five. Certainly one of my favorite shoes over the last 18 months or so. 5% of the viewers that entered the poll voted for this shoe. A highly cushioned shoe that I found could handle a range of different paces. It seems like a huge number of you are big fans of this shoe, and I am too. There's been lots and lots of comments about it, especially after my recent video of its successor, the React Infinity Run Flyknit 2. Certainly a shoe by your feedback that is highly durable, with some runners taking them up way past 400 kilometers. I have to say that this is the only Nike shoe that appears in the top five today. You know that they say you should never work with animals or children. I think I've had to try and film this video about 50 times already. Young Fergus Brzezinski has learned to scream extremely loudly. And the dog seems to have some sort of Bluetooth connection to the camera record button. So that whenever you press it, he starts barking in this shrill, shrieky sort of manner. Shoe number four in today's top five is the New Balance 1080 V10. So this was another real favorite of the viewers of the channel. About 6% of the total votes were for this shoe. The viewers quoted this shoe as having a very durable midsole and loads of people had knocked up stacks and stacks of miles in this one. This is the highest ranked of all the New Balance shoes in today's poll. New Balance also came in in fourth position in terms of the manufacturer votes. Across all manufacturers, they had about 12.5% of the votes. I think the 1080 V10 is one of those quiet fanfare shoes. Not one that really sticks out or perhaps excites people quite so much. It just quietly gets on with the task of helping runners clock up those daily miles and really there's very few major issues at all with this shoe, which is something you can rarely say and makes it one of those shoes that's rarely on sale. So 1080 V10 in position number four. So what's in position three? With 6.5% of the total vote, we have a shoe from Adidas. The SL20 very clearly appealed to a very wide section of runners. I think it's that cheap and cheerful price, but also the versatility and that snappy midsole and outsole platform. Few find fault with this superior shoe from Adidas, Germany's finest. And I was one such fan, I have to be honest. A fantastic shoe, one of the best I tested out over the course of the year. I really loved the lightweight nature of the SL20. And I've got to say, I was a little disappointed in the SL20.2 that I reviewed very recently. Mind you, that shoe had a lot to live up to. This is one of the best of the year. It seems you guys really like the lightweight nature of it too. And this shoe helped Adidas reach position number four in terms of the manufacturer votes too. So shoe number two, comes from the manufacturer that had the third highest share of all the votes cast. ASICS had a great year this year and the Nova Blast helped make that happen. They really upped their game in terms of fit and innovation and really caught up to the big two in 2020. I think that the Nova Blast helped ASICS to jettison that old school kind of image they had. Those dated vibes were gone and it really ushered in a new era for the company. They started experimenting with far more forgiving foams underfoot and a departure away from that gel stuff that they used in the midsoles of shoes over the course of the last few years. And the standard EVA stuff was out the window as well. They had their brand new, very cushioned and squashy midsoles. An eighth of all the votes cast in the poll today 
were for the A6 Nova Blast. That's a sizable number of votes for a shoe that I feel to be a very durable, yet very forgiving and cushioned shoe that you can use for daily miles. I wasn't so sure about it at the start, but by 100 miles, I'd, I was on board. So in position two, it's the A6 Nova Blast. So what's at the top spot? It's the Nike Alpha Fly. No, I'm only joking. I think it was like 1% of all the votes were for the Alpha Fly. You probably guessed it, but it's the Saucony Endorphin Speed. So the Saucony brand really did hit a home run this year with the Endorphin Speed. Lighter than a balloon full of hydrogen. Well, maybe not that light, but it was pretty light. The Saucony Endorphin Speed was selected by 24.5% of all the people that voted within the poll. That also gave Saucony the crown of the most voted for manufacturer too, by some margin actually, although no other Saucony shoe picked up more than one vote. So this was firmly the favorite. I think this one has a great mixture of cushion, balance between being rigid enough to give you some propulsion, but also a forgiving underfoot feel, and of course, topped off with the smell of the garden center still there. I don't think Saucony could manufacture these fast enough when they first released them. They just couldn't get these out fast enough to fulfill the feet of you hungry runners. So for 2020, the viewers of the Edbud channel have voted the Saucony Endorphin Speed as their favourite shoe. With any poll though, there's always some honourable mentions. I was a little surprised to see this one. It just missed out in terms of getting into that top five. That's the Nike Tempo Next Percent. This and the Fuel Cell TC from New Balance got about 3% of the vote overall. Another shoe that just missed out was that Boston 9 from Adidas. 3.5% of the vote overall was for that shoe. No recounts needed here. The results are as clear as the air units on the side of my new Jordan 4 Fire Reds. Well done, Saucony. It just goes to show that pitching a shoe with some interesting technology within it that people really, really want at a reasonable price does do the trick. Thanks to all of you who voted in the poll. I was amazed at the number of responses that I got and there's some real detail and insight in some of the comments. Thank you to everyone. It's interesting that Nike videos tend to get the most number of views on the channel, but in terms of the most favored shoes of the year with the viewers, we had very different results. Interesting stuff a Christmas movie recommendation for you today. As you guys know, I've been working through all of the Christmas films, all the Christmas music. I love Christmas, one of my favorite times of year. We cannot leave out the Bill Murray classic, Scrooged. It's based on that classic Scrooge tale. We all know and love that one. It really does pull on the heartstrings at the end as well, this film. I've always got to really bite the side of my mouth to try and stop myself from crying and then have Mrs. Edbud take the mick out of me. The ghosts in this version of the story are fantastic. From the taxi cab driver through to the angel as well, she's just brilliant. She really puts old Bill through the ringer. I think because Bill Murray's character is just so nasty at the start of the film, the change at the end is really drastic and it's quite heartwarming really. Definitely one to watch over Christmas, a real classic. Scrooge starring Bill Murray. Oh, it feels like it's taken days off me to make in this video. It's been so difficult. So many problems and little issues that have cropped up and just counting the votes took a long time. It took a long time to crunch all the numbers. But I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I put a lot of heart and soul into it. As always, I thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when I launch those new videos. It helps the channel out a huge amount if you give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.